Bonnie, will you introduce yourself and tell us what book you're nominated for here tonight? Sure. Uh, my name is Bonnie Turpin, and I am nominated in the Best Female Narration category for Yellow Crocus. So can you tell us a little bit about your preparation for reading that book? Um, well, I read the book. <laughs> and while I read the book, I look for um, different characters and um, d where I'm going to need to differentiate voices and who the people are, basically. And, you know, I, I don't do usually a lot of research about the time period or anything because I'm going to read the book. I'm not going to tell any story that's not in the book. So... And, and it's not, it's not a, this particular book is not a story that's unfamiliar to me, so. You know, it's set in the South, so you needed to adopt a Southern accent, and I'm assuming that's not your natural accent. No, but it's a very familiar accent, and various Southern accents, you know, there, there were, this book deals with slavery. And so we're looking at another time period, and uh, vast differences of socioeconomic status between people, so. So there's a difference in the way the slaves speak and the way the slaveholders exactly. speak. Exactly. Is there also a difference between the way people spoke in that period of time and the way people speak today? Well, that was less apparent in the writing of the book. Uh, the, the white slave owners tended to speak a little more formally, but other than that, you know, they're not saying these and thous or anything like that. There weren't any Quakers in this book. <laughs> Thank you very much, and best of luck to you tonight. Thanks so much.